Hello, my name is Alexander Roby, and I'm a current student at Mass Bay, and my project for you today is a Candlepin SQLite browser. I use the Raspberry Pi to create a database on SQLite browser for my Candlepin Bowling League. Track and scores such as averages, high scores, lower scores, plus one and minus one from their averages. So, what is SQLite? SQLite is a database engine written in C programming language similar to MySQL. SQLite is in the family of embedded databases. It is mostly a library that software developers embed their application in. It is mostly used by web browsers, operating systems, and mobile devices. SQLite is a lighter version of MySQL, so this means it is a database management system that does not require a server to operate. It requires less configuration and does not require service management. What is DB Browser? DB Browser is a high quality open source tool to design, create, and edit database files for SQLite. This is a powerful open source tool that allows SQLite to be able to have a GUI, which is a graphical user interface. The DB Browser is very user friendly to beginners who want to get into databases. The requirements for this was a Raspberry Pi 32GB SD card source for storage, monitor, keyboard and mouse, Raspbian operating system, and SQLite browser software. Now I will get into my remote desktop to my Raspberry Pi. What I need to do is open up DB Browser for SQLite, and there it is. So I will open up my project that I have done which is this one. As you already can see, I have four tables that I made. One is boulders, I hit this little arrow, which is the bowler name and the bowling ID. Next is player scores, which is their averages, the high scores, the lowest scores, the handicap, the total, and the bowler ID. Next is the teams, the team name, team ID, and the captains. And then last is weekly top, which is first, second, third, bowler ID, and bowler name. That is my project for that. For you to create a new database, you just, all you have to do is hit new database, select a file name, so test, and there it is. You have a new database. Now this is for you to enter a table in, so I'll do test two. And right here is the fields to add, so test name which is a type of text, and voila. It's that simple to create a database. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.